morning students today i am going to continue the chapter sectors of the indian economy in previous video i explained you about historical change in the sectors primary secondary and tertiary sectors in india today i will explain you about rising importance of the tertiary sector over the 40 years from 1970 to 2010 unlike other sectors tertiary sector has increased very much and emerged as the largest producing sector in india replacing the primary sector now what are the reasons for changing this place public demand for the basic services now what is the meaning of basic services services required by all citizens like elementary education basic health care water supply and sanitation as well as public safety and convenience like fire prevention and extension a police force to maintain law and order supply of electric power etc so this is the meaning of basic service so public demands for the basic services like hospitals education educational institution postal services police station bank insurance companies and also like administrative office defense etc have been increased and were also fulfilled by the government to a greater extent this situation is seen in almost all developing countries greater development in primary and secondary sector has induced demand for service sector growth as mining activities and agricultural activities intensified it needed and demanded more services like transport trade storage etc as income level of people rose they demanded better quality of life and better standard of living like tourism shopping private hospitals professional trainings etc which enhanced service sector due to globalization certain new service have entered indian market like information technology and communication technology etc which have become important and essential the service sector employs various sections of people only a small section of service sector employed high skilled and educated workers a large number of small or micro level service sectors are booming which employed a large quality and variety of workers such as shopkeepers repairs persons etc but productivity is less only a part of this sector is growing is importance so after the independence it was realized that the foremost requirement for india's development is the provision and expansion of basic services these basic services includes hospital educational institutions post and telegraph services administrative services 
police station, ports, sanitary and public health services and financial services such as banking, insurance, etc. The government has made sincere efforts during the last decade for the provisions of these services. The development of agricultural and institutional sector requires greater support services such as transport, trade, storage, banking, communication, etc. Greater the growth of the economy, more would be the demand for such services. In our country, with the development of agricultural and institutional, sorry, and in industrial sector, the service sector has also expanded. With the rise in income levels, people normally demand more and better services, especially in regard to education, health, training and entertainment. As a result of it, we have seen fast expansion of private schools, private hospitals, shopping centers, professional institutions, tourism, etc. In Indian economy, this change can especially be seen in cities. Especially in the big cities. This has also led to the expansion of service sector in India in recent times. In recent years, new kinds of services are also rapidly emerging in India. These are information and technology that is IT and IT enabled services, mobile phones, tourism such as medical tourism, rural tourism, wellness tourism, etc. and repairing services, etc. This has changed the scenario of service sector in India. However, it must be remembered that all the segments of service sector are not growing well. Service sector in India has heterogeneous character. It employs different kinds of people in different kinds of services, related occupations. For instance, on the one hand, there are limited number of services that employed highly skilled and educated workers. On the other hand, a very large number of people are engaged as small keep shopkeepers, repair persons, transport persons, etc. People who are working in such services manage to bear their living. But they are forced to work in these services because no better alternative is available to them. Now you have to write question and answer in your fair copy. Differentiate between final goods and intermediate goods. What do final goods and services mean? Which are the new services included in the secondary in the sectors tertiary? 